Hey, this is Jeff Burnett from the TT for T team here to talk to you about your Gmail inbox and more specifically, all the options you have when it comes to viewing messages in your inbox and how you can kind of set up and organize your inbox. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to talk about three options um, or three big options that you have and you can do some different things within each of these options, but I'm going to just go very briefly over the different options and what they look like. The first option here is the kind of the classic inbox where you have a long list of messages that are coming in and organized by date and time. And so this is kind of what a lot of people utilize and it's really simple and really basic and it's totally fine. But if you're looking for more organization and you're looking um, to have some categories and to allow kind of Google to actually work for you, I'm going to show you a couple options. The first option is to kind of continue on this same type of um, inbox look but adding some tabs and categories. And the way that you do that is you go over to the gear icon over on the right side of the page you click and you go down to configure inbox. What this is going to allow you to do is to create some categories and tabs within your inbox so that everything isn't being dumped into one area in one place in your inbox. And so you could add a couple here. You can add as many as you want here as far as social promotion updates and forms. And what they are is social is pretty much messages from social networks and other websites like LinkedIn and Google Plus, those types of things. Those messages will not go into your primary inbox. Instead, they'll go into another tab. You can also add promotions. So this is like websites or places that are giving you deals, offers, their marketing emails, things like that. And then updates. Those are the three or four that are primarily used by people when they're utilizing this type of inbox. And let me just kind of show you what this looks like. So once I've saved that, now I have my primary and now I have tabs up here that will eventually, as I get messages, will be filled in depending on who is sending them to me. And so this just allows you to kind of keep your inbox a little bit more organized, keep messages uh, from different senders and different types of messages kind of organized and you would be mainly and primarily working out of your primary inbox. So that's your second option is to have some tabs and categories at the top here. The other option is the one that I use and is my favorite and is priority inbox. The way you get to that is you go back to the gear on the right side of the page, down to settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go click on inbox. Right now my inbox type is default. That allows me to do the simple classic look or the one with the tabs and categories, but I want to change over to a priority inbox. Priority Inbox allows me to create sections in my inbox that I can see and kind of organize my messages as they come in. The way that I organize mine is that I have important and unread at the top. I could change that simply by clicking on the options icon. I then have starred and everything else. Now once I change this over to Priority Inbox, it's so important in anything that you're doing in Gmail that you scroll down to the bottom and you save changes. And let me show you now what it looks like. Instead of having one long list of emails, I now have them broken up. As messages come in that are important, they're going to be here at the top. And if they're unread messages. The way I know that Google knows that they are important is that I have marked that person with the important marker. So Ann Feldman is an important contact of mine that I want to always know when she emails me. So when she first comes in, as I start to organize my Gmail inbox, I'm going to make sure that this box is yellow. That will tell Google that that is an important person sending me an email. Then I have my starred messages here. So let's say I go in and I click on a message and I, like, I want this message to be important. And I want this, I know that I need to interact with this message in the next couple days. I use the starred um, feature for me as kind of like a to-do list. So I mark it and I know that okay I've read it, I've started here and now I want to go back to my inbox. It's going to place that right down in here. I know I need to get to that at some point in the next couple days. If I knew that it was important but I didn't need it, I would simply not start it and it would come all the way down here into everything else. Other things that come into everything else 
are emails from people that aren't considered important, that don't have this yellow tab highlighted. And this really helps me to organize my inbox, keep it so that I don't have thousands of messages in it, and I also know what I need to attack immediately when getting into my inbox. So that is the three different ways that you can utilize your inbox within Gmail. Oh, 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 oh,